All right, guys, just got this beautiful wall built in like under half an hour. Now we're gonna have to sheet it. Well, there we go, got this shit closed off, purple padding and all. And pretty much done here. Again, all these walls were built by yours truly. Yours truly building every single wall here. I think this floor I also did completely myself. So four other guys here, you know? Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You made it to our first break today, and luckily today we do get a break because uh, I don't know, I feel like it works pretty hard. Anywho, I'm gonna make this beautiful tea right here. This is the job site tea. This is how I make it. Got a whole bunch of hot sugary water, hot sugary tea water right in here. I don't know if you can see that, but well, it's hot. I pour some in here, and now that's obviously way too hot to drink, right? Way too hot to drink. So what did we need the genius figure out? Get some water from home, pour it in here. And now you have drinkable tea. That's still pretty hard, dude. Mm. And that's pretty close to where that's a little too much too much uh, tea bag in there for my liking. And almost not enough sugar. So we're gonna have to work on a formula a little bit better, but overall, overall it's pretty good. So anywho, I just want to show you guys also this fuck up that my boss created. As we can see here, the fireplace was off. I had it right when I got it first, and for some reason, Arthur, the boss, came up there and said, Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? This is all wrong. And brought it out five and a half inches. Well, now you have this. You should have listened to me, Arthur. And again, this is a no-no because this is supposed to be resting on the floor here. It can't be free-floating like that. Even though it isn't pretty solid. Like, it isn't pretty solid. Maybe like, just build something down here. Boom, a couple of sticks. Plywood sheet it over. And no one knows the difference. I mean, you know. Maybe the bird guys might know this, but who gives a fuck about them? The thing is also, it's a roof. It's a roof, so you're going to have to figure out how to cut out the top. On like an exactly five and a half angle, and that is hard. This is what the fireplace is supposed to be like. And again, it's decent, it looks good. But just right here, you see, it's off the wall. It's gotta be coming right in here. Going this way, how I had it. Perfectly. And again, you gotta cut it out here, cut it out there, and then bring it all the way in. Problem is the roof. The roof now. It's tying everything in together. So you're gonna have to take this off, then cut the roof back. So you're gonna figure out where the roof line is. That's well, probably like somewhere here. You know, but then the angle is gonna change too, and it's gonna be very difficult to move this thing here. Arthur's got some work ahead of him. So again, here we can see we have another problem arise. And uh this wall is actually has higher studs than this one here, as you can see. That's a hole sunk in there, so the studs need to be cut longer. The problem is, they were cut a little bit too long. Now this wall is taller. So again, that's a bit of a fuck up. That's a bit of a fuck up, but I'm a master at fixing these shits. So what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna blend this shit right here. Bomb, hit this up a bit. You see that? There we go, we hit it up. Now it's at even level. That's a bit of a cheap move. It's a bit of a cheap move, but uh... You know, no one's going to see that in the, in the end of the day. And, uh, you know, my boss is going to be happy. I made a quick fix here. And, yeah, that'll hold it. Now, we're going to take this big-ass thing, throw it right over. So, guys, ah, throw it right over here. We have Kasha. Overlap here. And now, no one's going to know the difference. Now again, there's going to be a bit of a hump in the floor kind of there, but, uh, you know. This is rough framing, boys. This is as good as it gets here. As good as it fucking gets. You know what I'm saying? So again, I am I am the master of disaster, but I am also a master fixer. Don't, for, don't, don't forget about that shit. Never forget about that shit. 